Hello truckers and welcome back to another mod review. Today we are looking at the interior add-on by Woolly. This has recently been updated to version 1.3.1 .1 and has added in the changelog the compatibility <coughs> with the MANF2000 by XBS Mods and the 2019 interior for the MAN TGX by Gloover. Uh, a couple of other things being added, uh, the Iveco S-Way by h and w trucks and tuning parts uh, that's has in brackets on the blurb but released soon uh, so presumably that's going to come as well that's going to be fun i'll do a video on that when we get there uh, and it's also added a toy stand um, this um, this mod uh, it's been out for a while now actually uh, and it's been continuously updated by the creator woolly uh, has a lot of interior customization options and is compatible with most trucks uh, certainly all of the standard SCS trucks and uh, a complete list um, if editing Webo remembers will be scrolling across the screen right now. So without further ado let's get into it let's have a look at what um, what we've got here so for the windscreen corner uh, we've got a good old parrot system for your mobile phone, a TomTom -tom navigator or a PDA. Uh, we've got various different uh, light boxes that you can uh, add in to the windscreen. Uh, there's been changes as well to the um, air conditioner accessories. You can put a, a mobile phone there for a GPS. You can just have a standard one or you can have that PDA that we've got over there as well. Uh, again, on the passenger side, you can have uh, the light, same light boxes you can have on the driver's side. Uh, for the seat items, uh, we've got a briefcase. You can have a Doberman, if you feel like it. And also a Pug. Poor little guy, doesn't look like he can even see over the dashboard, bless him. He's cute though, isn't he? Uh, so down here in the centre floor as well, you can have the good old Coleca Crocs, some t-shirts, the amplifier, if, um, I think that's an amplifier, is it? Or could be an inverter, it's probably an inverter, I'm probably getting this completely wrong. Um, also, you can uh, have your, your furry friend a little bit closer to you if you want, you can have two pugs, let them have uh, little uh, battles while you're driving down the motorway so uh, back here uh, on the bunk uh, under pillow items you can have yourself a TV or you can decide to have a pillow and TV and uh, also you can have the same as you can have down here you can have your t-shirts or you can have uh, different styles of blanket that one's jazzy, we'll have that one. Along with your Doberman. Uh, Malinois. I don't know my dogs, help me out here. Uh, Malinois Shepherd. Uh, I, I, honestly, I think that fella would be a bit big for the uh, the passenger seat there. He's, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get rid of him before he eats me pug. And up here you've got... Uh, Various different types of curtains you can have just above the windscreen, which is great. Uh, this block, this truck is uh, sort of a, a dark green on the outside, so I think we'll go for some green curtains in here. And you've got various hanging items as well. Uh, shall we go for a full Coleca theme? Uh, I'll have the Crocs down there. I'll have Coleca up there. Uh, you can also have Dreamcatcher. You can have uh, our Lord and Saviour, um, Pin-Up Girl, Plain Cross, or if you're driving a Scania, uh, you've got the Scania Vabbit's uh, hanging thing there. Uh, just check if there's any, any more things that have been... Yeah, so uh, if you wanted to replace this, you can have the curtains on the side as well. So I'll have the matching green, that, that, that green. 
I, I'm not sure about it, if I'm honest. I think we'll go with grey. I think that looks a bit better. And that appears to be largely it for what you can add to the, uh, the MAN F2000. There are other things, so uh, hold on just a minute. So here we are back again, this time we're in the uh, Scania R. Um, this um, has been slightly messed about with because it's the uh, Scania uh, PGRS mod by Eugene. Um, but some more woolly stuff is available in these trucks. You've got the same hanging items as you had in the MAN uh, with the addition of GoPro which for some reason takes a minute to change over, but uh, there you go. You've got the same curtain options as you had in the MAN, and the same uh, air convent options as you had in the MAN as well. Uh, over here, uh, in the console item section, you do have uh, a few options. Uh, you can have a Nana. Uh, to go through all these would take a while because my game seems to be uh, messing about a little bit. But you can have a coffee machine and a Nintendo Switch. On the passenger seat as well, you can have, you've got your same options. You've got your briefcase, your Doberman, and your cute little pug. We'll have we'll have the back here. Also on the bunk, you've got the same options to have the TV, uh, pillow, and TV. And you've also got your, your buddy uh, Manoir Shepherd. And also your really jazzy blankets and pillows. You can have the same curtain options on the side as you had in the MAN. And you've got the option for the same light boxes as well up here. Same curtains, I think we've done those. Overall... A brilliant interior mod. Uh, really adds some cool things into um, in, into your cab, so you can really uh, really make it your own. And I've discovered um, from previous versions of this mod that the TV screen over here and the switch screen are actually customizable. If you go into the uh, texture files for the mod. You can actually change what's on the screen so uh, i'll in if if i can find the screenshot i will insert it just now uh, to show you what i did to the screens uh, in a previous version um actually put them in this very truck so with all that being said uh, i'll leave a link to the modern description below uh, please do go and check it out and uh, show Willie some love and support. He's really done a lot of good work. And um, all that's left to say is thank you very much for watching. Uh, please leave me a comment um, if you feel like it. If you like the content that I'm putting out, then uh, give us a subscribe and uh, click that little bell icon. I'm told it helps out with some algorithms or something like that. And thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.